Hello, welcome back to five minute, five minutes with Fee. This week I'm going to talk a bit about exercise for mental health. I know what it's like when you go um, to the doctors and you tell them that you're suffering from depression or anxiety and they tell you to go and do yoga. It's like, doc, give me a break. When you are feeling so terrible and so low and so hopeless, you know that you know, you know the things that you should be doing, but you just cannot do it. Like, you can't physically make yourself leave the house and go and do yoga, or even do it at home. Like, you just you just can't do it. It's so hard. Um, so basically, when I went off work with depression and anxiety six six years ago, I think it was, um, I'd already joined the gym at that point. So it, it really worked out quite well for me because I had started to really enjoy the gym, but that was when my depression hit. So I was off work for a year, basically. And during that time, I had nothing to do. I was off work um, because I was, I was physically and mentally unable to work. But for whatever reason, I felt like I could go to the gym. It's really weird. I don't, well, I do have a bit of an explanation for it, which I'll get into. For some reason, I needed something to fixate on and the gym worked for me. So I used to go to classes every day. Um, I used to go to body attack, body pump, spin, grit. Do any of you remember grit? I don't even know that's a thing anymore. Um, Metafit, Zumba, body combat. I did it all. I even trained to be a gym instructor at one point. I know it's... It doesn't even seem like me, like when I look back on that. And I loved it. See, when I was feeling so bad, see, to go, if the only thing I did that day was go to the gym for one hour, like, it just gave me such a boost, like, because I could be feeling like, say, like, this is, this is normal and this is happy. When I was depressed, I was feeling all the way down here. So far, I was off the screen. <laughs> so if I managed to drag myself to go to a class for an hour, that brought me back up to normal. So... It didn't necessarily make me happy, but it just got me through. Like, it honestly was such an amazing, amazing tool for me. Like, the natural endorphins and everything it was great. When I was depressed, I gave up alcohol as well, which, if you're interested, I'll talk about that in another video. So it was kind of like my drug. Like, it was giving me a buzz all the time, which, unfortunately, did get out of hand, I will admit. I used to go to Scottish Slimmers, which I'm sure is great for some people but for me it just triggered something really bad in my brain um and i lost a lot a lot of weight like became really really thin and was eating basically just vegetables was only eating vegetables i was work i was working out like two or three hours a day so for me it definitely got through a bit of an addiction luckily for me i still love exercise and i'm definitely not addicted to it anymore definitely uh, for me now like I've had a total shift in my mentality because I used to see it as like at the beginning it was this great buzz it made me feel great but then but when it got entwined with diet um, and body image it definitely became a form of punishment to me looking back like it was a form of self-harm because I was just punishing myself all the time and if I wasn't aching like physically aching like every single day then I just felt like I was going to get fat again it's so stupid. Since then, now, I've gained a lot, not a lot of weight, but I used to be, before I ever dieted, I was a size 16. And when I dieted, I got down to size 10. And now I'm a size 16 again. So I've just made my peace. Like I still have ba bad body image days, like don't get me wrong, but I have made my peace with the fact that I am naturally meant to be about a size 16. So now I exercise for, believe it or not, fun. Um, and what I enjoy changes from day to day and I think if you want to use exercise as a form of mental health um, treatment along with medication or whatever um, you've just got to find what works for you and I know that's pure cringe and that's what everybody says but you've just got to find what works for you and for me it actually just changes all the time so if I'm really like mentally stressed at work or whatever normally walking is perfect for me because it just gets me out in the fresh air, like it doesn't feel like a struggle to walk, like I really enjoy walking. I'll put my headphones in, listen to my favourite podcast and just walk. I live in Birmingham, um, really near canals, so I'll walk along the canals and that is so, so nice. Um, but then other times um, I'll go to yoga, so I used to, like, for a month or two there, that's all I was doing was yoga. I was doing yoga like three times a week, but in the last two weeks I've been doing HIIT workouts, so I've been doing HIIT workouts 
in my front room because I'm just really short on time so I'd be doing like a half an hour high energy workout and it just it's been making me feel really good so it just depends what your energy levels are like that day that week and what you can fit into your day as well so if you can't afford to go to the gym or you don't have the time to get to and from the gym like work out at home it's totally fine um or find a friend like if you can't motivate yourself to go alone go with a friend organize a walk together go to a class together and it doesn't even have to be like three times a week just go once a week i know amy from i can cards my friend amy she lives in wales and she just does hot yoga once a week and she says that just sorts her out every week so that is my my fitness journey my relationship with fitness it's has been negative at points but overall fitness is has been key to my recovery and it will always be a common thread in my life now because I just love um, getting out and getting moving. Leave in the comments below what your favourite exercise is and let me know what you would like the next five minutes with Fee to be and we'll catch up soon. If you like this video please like, subscribe and hit that notification bell and you'll get a wee notification every week when I upload this very short and sweet five minute video and I'll leave all my um, social media in the down bar below. I'll speak to you soon. Bye!